Hi, this video is going to cover solving equations with variables on both sides. So the learning goal for this video is just to learn how to solve equations with variables on both sides. Shocking, using the golden rule of equations. Right? So we're going to be able to solve an equation where x is both here on the left and also on the right side. So we're going to learn how to deal with that. So just a, a recap of the golden rule of solving equations is whatever you do to one side of the equation, you must do the same thing. All right, so remember here we would go uh, to solve uh, for the variable x here. We want to know what that value is that makes this uh, equation true. Uh, remember here that we would first deal with the adding or subtracting. That's on the same side as the x. So we would subtract 4 on both sides. Right? And what we're left with here is uh, 2x is equal to, and then 10 take away 4 is 6. And remember, we just do the opposite things, right? So when we add 4, we take away 4. Here, when 2 is multiplying with the x, we divide by 2 on both sides again. So uh, the 2's divide out, so we're just left with x is equal to 3. So 2 times 3 plus 4 is equal to 10. So we're just going to extend that idea. Uh, to uh, equations when variables are on both sides. So we're going to use the golden rule okay, uh, to get rid of one of the variables on one side. And the easiest thing to do is we're going to pick on the smallest uh, term. Okay, So this one is the smaller variable term. And um, we can get rid of this one. Now technically it doesn't really matter which one you get rid of. Uh, we can get rid of the 4x. It's just um, if you do that, we're going to end up with negative values, and um, the, the fewer negative values we have, the better. So what we're going to do is, um, since I want to get rid of this 2x, this entire term, I'm going to subtract 2x from this side. Now again, with the golden rule of equations, though, if I take 2x away from this side of the equation, I have to take away 2x from this side of the equation. So what we're left with here is we've got 4x take away 2x is just 2x. I still have minus 6 on that left side is equal to, now that 2x is gone now because I subtracted it away, I'm just left with 8 here. All right. So now we, can, uh, we have an equation uh, that originally had variables on both sides. We got rid of it. Uh, got rid of the variable on one side, and so now we're just left with a variable only on one side of the equation. And you notice that it's a positive value since I took away the smallest one. Okay. And then now we just solve this equation as usual. Uh, the x is on the left side here. I'm going to focus on getting rid of this minus 6. So I'm going to add 6 to both sides. So 2x is equal to 14. And then now 2 is multiplying with the x. So I'm going to divide now by 2. So x is equal to equal to equal to two, seven. Okay. All right, so let's just go through a couple more examples here. So I notice again, the variables are on both sides of the equation here. It's easiest to get rid of the one that is smaller. So I'm going to get rid of this 2x here. So I'm going to subtract 2x on both sides. So I'm left with here, so the 2x is gone, I'm left with negative 5 is equal to, now 7x take away 2x is 5x plus 20. Right. So now the variable is on the right side, no worries. So we're just going to get rid of this plus 20 by subtracting 20 on both sides of the equation. So on the left here I've got negative 25 is equal to 5x. And then now 5 is multiplying with the x, so I'm going to divide by 5. Okay. So the uh, 5's will divide out. So uh, x here on the right is equal to negative 5 after the, the uh, division. Okay, um, last little example here. I've got negative 6x on one side and 4x on the other side. So the smaller one is actually the negative 6, right? Because negative 6 is a lesser value than uh, positive 4. So I'm going to get rid of this. Uh, on this side so that I'm left with an equation where there's only a variable on one side. So to get rid of this negative 6x, well you would have to add 6x and you're going to add 6x to both sides. Uh, what we're left with on the left here is 3 is equal to, now 4x plus 6x is 10x, uh, subtract 27. Right, so again, the variable is on the right side, so I'm going to get rid of this uh, minus 27 by adding 27. So that was my phone. So I'm going to add 27 on both sides. 
Uh, so 3 plus 27 is equal to 30, and then uh, this is equal to 10x. Now the 10 is multiplying with the x, so we're going to divide both sides by 10. So the 10s can divide out, so x is equal to 30 divided by 10 is 3. All right, so that's how we deal with um, equations when variables are on both sides. We get rid of one of them, okay? And it's, again, easiest to pick on the uh, smaller one, okay? So use addition and subtraction to get rid of the variable term from any one side of the equation. Now, uh, the tip is look to see which side of the equation has the smaller variable term. And it's more convenient to eliminate that term rather than the larger term. So you can try it out if you want to. You're going to get up with, you're going to end up with a negative value. Um, and the fewer negatives we have, the better. And uh, continue solving the equation like we did by performing inverse operations in reverse bed mass. So that's the success criteria. You should follow it. Uh, give these two examples a shot. Okay, so uh, again, find the smaller variable uh, term, get rid of that, and then solve the equation as you normally would. Okay, so pause the video, give it a shot, okay, and then when you're ready, uh, to see the uh, solution, press play. All right, so we're going to get rid of the smaller variable term here, which is the 6a. So we're going to take away 6a on both sides. So uh, that's gone. So 9a take away 6a is 3a minus 4 is equal to 14, which is what's left over. Uh, so now the variable is on the left. I'm going to get rid of this minus 4 by adding 4 to both sides. So 3a is equal to 18. Okay, so I'm just going to write it over here. I'm out of room. Um, we're going to divide by 3 on both sides because the 3 is next to the a. They divide out. a is 6. All right. The next one here, we've got uh, just a right, just 1p and a negative 2p. So the smaller value here is the negative 2p. Uh, so we're going to add 2p to both sides. Okay. So don't forget that p has an invisible 1. You can write it down if you need to. So 1p plus 2p makes 3 of these p's. Subtract 24 is equal to 6. All right, so again, the variable p is on the left. I'm going to focus in on this minus 24. Let's add 24. So I'm going to write over here, 3p um, is equal to 30. Now we divide both sides now by 3. So the 3's will divide out. P is equal to 10. Alright, so again, when the variable is on both sides, we need to get rid of one of them, and it's easier to pick on the smaller uh, variable term. Alright, here's the last one. Give it a go. Okay, and um, let's hope you ace it. Okay, good luck. Alright, so we're going to get rid of the smaller variable term here, which is the negative 4x, which is smaller than 2x. So we're going to add 4x to both sides. So we're left with here on the left, 5 is equal to, now 2x plus 4x is 6x plus 29. So again, uh, I'm sure you're doing this and you, and you know, uh, write down what you're doing, okay, underneath the term that you're going to do it with. So I wouldn't put the 4x under the 29. Okay, we're gonna we add like terms. So write like terms underneath each other. Uh, so again, the variable term is on the right. We're gonna get rid of this negative 29 here. So what we're left with here on the right side is 6x, and 5 take away 29 is I believe negative 24. Uh, the 6 is being multiplying with the x, so we're gonna divide both sides by 6. Uh, so at the end here, x is equal to negative 4. So when we're solving any equation, okay, we always follow the golden rule, okay, which is, again, whatever you do on one side of the equation, you have to do the exact same thing on the other side. And finally, when variables are on both sides of the equation, your goal is to first get the variable on only one side of the equation, and then you're going to solve. Right? So we do that by adding and subtracting. All right. I hope this has made solving variables, equations with variables on both sides, clear. And best of luck with your equation solving.